John Cooey was a very dangerous man who had a list of convictions such as dozens of burglary charges, along with being a sex offender. At the time of the investigation, he even had a warrant out for his arrest for being in possession of cannabis. When the police went to his home, they found out that he had moved and didn't inform police that he was relocating, which is a federal violation. Sex offenders need to inform police whenever they relocate, so they can update it in the sex offender registry. Afterwards, they went to the trailer where his sister lived, along with a few other family members. His sister informed police that he was living with them, but wasn't sure where he was at the moment. At this time, they didn't have a search warrant to inspect the home. However, what the police didn't know at the time was that they were just a few feet away from Jessica, while she was still alive, during the time they were questioning his family about his whereabouts. The officers walked into the house and peeked through some doors, but weren't allowed to search further. Meanwhile, the scared nine-year-old girl was sitting in the dark closet of his bedroom, not making a sound, as she was told by John to not make any noise and to stay in the closet no matter what. It's heartbreaking that Jessica was so close to being saved, if they just would have opened that closet door. After the weekend where Jessica had initially gone missing, police came by to check on John once again, but his niece gave him money for a bus ticket, but didn't know where he was going. John was now a high suspect as running away just a few days after she had originally gone missing threw up red flags in their heads, along with the fact that his sister's trailer was located just around a hundred yards away from Jessica's home. They ended up finding John at a homeless shelter, as he didn't use a fake name to sign in. He told police that he was there looking for work, and was questioned about Jessica's disappearance. He told police that he had no idea what happened to that girl, and he didn't even know she existed until he saw her on the news. Police didn't have anything to hold him on at the time, and had to release him. On March 12, a couple weeks after she had gone missing, the police finally obtained a search warrant to search his sister's trailer. In his bedroom, inside his closet, they found a mattress with blood stains. They tested the DNA on the mattress, and it was an exact match to Jessica's DNA. John was now immediately arrested and charged for the kidnapping and murder of Jessica Lunsford. The Confession On March 18, 2005, John made his confession. He told the police that he had initially just wanted to break in and rob the home, but he had made too much noise.